Why am I entertaining this idea? Can a Raspberry Pi be used as a main PC? Let's find out. Okay, so as you can see, I've got my monitor that's usually hooked up to my iMac hooked up to a Raspberry Pi, which is right there. And I'm running Pixel OS, the Raspbian distro that they came out with to, I, I, I don't know, I guess solidify themselves as different from Debian. Um, this is actually a Raspberry Pi 2. I haven't seen the reason to buy a Pi 3, but I've got sound. I've hooked up a Wi-Fi adapter and I've hooked up a Bluetooth adapter, so we're good. But the first thing I've noticed um, before even getting into this project is this this desktop style simply will not do. I'm not used to having a start menu up here or down here, and it it really is just like a like a start menu, which is okay for some people, but I, I'm just not used to it, so. We gotta change some things, and I'm going to change them right now. I swear to God, I'm not an Apple fanboy. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, I'm going to split this video up into four categories, four simple categories. Web browsing, use of Office, sound playback, and video playback. Because the Raspberry Pi is about as useful as a Chromebook. I mean, I don't mean that in a bad way. I just mean on Raspbian, you have end to end sources, and it's a real pain to try and edit the sources list. You can't just do sudo add apt repository or anything like that. So I'm going with four very basic categories here. So let's get into web browsing. Okay, so for web browsing, you have Google Chrome. It's Chromium, but it's, you know, it's Google Chrome. And, I mean, it's it's really fast as far as that's concerned. I've got YouTube right here. And video playback can be a little squirrely. Um, let me try to find a video where I'm not going to get a copyright strike. Tell you what, I'll just play one of my own videos. Oh wow, it's already frozen. It's already froze up. Yep. There we go. You beautiful machine trying to freeze up on me while I'm improv filming. There we go. So I'll just play one of my own videos real quick. Or at least start playing it, I should say. And one thing I've noticed is they actually have a port for Adobe Flash Player for this. I mean, as you can see, it's... it's It's working really nicely. My speakers are... Speaker on this isn't exactly the greatest. That's my fault. That's not the Raspberry Pi's fault. I'm going to try to play it in 720p and see what happens. Yeah, not even a hiccup. So YouTube playback's pretty good. And, you know, the web browser... It's Google Chrome. I mean, it's it's going to do anything you throw at it. So let's move on to Office. The Office apps you have on here are LibreOffice. And in my opinion, you know, that's fine. Um, I've used LibreOffice for years. Uh, fun fact, I've actually had to write college term papers on LibreOffice, so I know it's useful. I know it's usable. Um, but it's very slow to load in Raspbian. 
like we're 30 seconds in and we just now got to the to the GUI but as you can see it's useful for some reason the text is green I don't know if you guys can see that or not you can't hmm. that's weird but yeah I mean once again we gotta wait for it to well it's a little bit faster this time but you know I've got LibreOffice and Press I really could you know I could totally use this as far as college work goes um, for students they've got Wolfram and Mathematica to learn uh, you've also got Minecraft Pi which teaches you how to program because you can program stuff for Minecraft um, but yeah Office it runs it actually runs Office pretty well <clears throat> let's go on to sound and video so for sound and video we do have Cody Media Center on here, but A, it's really buggy, and B, the last version of Cody to be supported in Raspbian is Cody 15.2, which is two distros out of date as of the 5th of February. So, the odds of getting good working apps on here are really slim. Um, as you can see, some things are already incompatible. But, you know, if I had a flash drive full of videos or if I just wanted to take my MP3s and plug it up to this, I mean, yeah, you know, that'll work. But if you're wanting to do anything like YouTube for Cody or Exodus for Cody or, you know, something like that, it's not going to work on here. At least, I don't think it will, at least not forever. Um, as you know, PowerPC users, oh crap, PowerPC users have had the same problem in the past, um, the last version of XBMC or Kodi was version 11 for the PowerPC and YouTube won't even run on that. So I'm going to have to give it a fail as far as video and audio playback. Um, as far as audio playback goes, I tried to install Spotify in Raspbian because they have a Linux distro now. And again, the repositories are end-to-end. -end. I can't add repositories as easy as I could with something like Ubuntu. So, you know, I mean, I can do it, but I'm looking out for the end user here. You know, somebody who's just going to plug us up and try to use it. And might look at a how-to guide on how to install Raspbian or, or Spotify for Raspbian or something like that and they can't find it. But I do have a solution and we're going to implement that right now. I'm going to format this SD card and we're going to load Ubuntu Mate because I want to see if a real Linux distribution like Ubuntu can actually do better than Raspbian and then I'll give my final verdict. So let's check it out. So, two hours later, I managed to get everything up and running. There's the little welcome thing. That's cool. Anyway, this is Ubuntu Mate, or Mate, I'm sorry. As you can see, we've got that same desktop environment, which I will change right now. Okay, so I'm a fanboy. Sue me. So the default browser that comes with Ubuntu Mate is Firefox. And it's just about as fast, if not a little... Eh, it's probably a little slower than the Google Chrome that we had on Raspbian. But, again, I'm going to load a YouTube video just to show you that web browsing does work.
Please ignore the ambulance coming by my house. I don't know if you guys could hear that or not, but I hope not. So there's my channel. Like I said, I think this one's actually a little bit slower, probably because it's not optimized for the Raspberry Pi. They're trying, but I will admit Raspbian has them beat as far as optimization goes. Now here's my newest video, which is actually a month old. Oh, cool, we actually get ads. <laughs> Hooray. Yeah, as you can see, this is taking a lot longer to load than Chromium did. And I think it actually skipped the ad. It did, it totally skipped the ad. Okay, I really need new speakers for this screen. Um, that's my fault. That's totally my fault. That's not Ubuntu Mate. But as you can see, web browsing does work. Um, you know what? I'm going to install Chromium real quick and we can try it too. Okay, so I went ahead and loaded my channel up in Chromium. Um, we are not going to use the Demon speaker this time. So there shouldn't be any sound. But let's see if it plays the video. Hmm? Wow, it's even playing the ad. Like, that's it's kind of cool. I mean, I, I personally, I, I don't really care for ads, even though they do pay for my channel. But, you know. Wow, that's really nice. Even though it's got the loading thing in the middle of it, it's it's playing the video rather slowly. Let me see if I can turn the quality down. It's on 360. I'll cut it down to 240. Just for the sake of trying it. Now it's not even playing. <clears throat> hmm. Interesting. Okay, heck with it. Let's crank it all the way up to 720 and see what happens. I'm going to try refreshing the page. I really want this to work. Maybe it needs a second to buffer. Yeah, the second I hit pause, it started loading. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, so it takes a second to buffer, but that's something I'm used to anyway. And the fact that it actually displays ads and there's not too crazy of a frame drop. Now I'd give it a pass. I would totally use this as far as web browsing goes. Okay, so on to Office. Okay, so obviously this is part of the MacBone 2 theme. It's still LibreOffice, although now we do have LibreOffice 5 instead of using the LibreOffice 4 that was with Raspbian Pixel. Not that much of a difference. There's a little bit of an aesthetic change, and as you can see, it loads a crap ton faster than Raspbian did. Um, but, you know, there's not crazy, you know, huge, oh my gosh, I need this differences. As you can see, <clears throat> still, still a writer. Still works. Um, I 
Doc kind of had a seizure there for a second. LibreOffice Impress is, as you know, the uh, PowerPoint. And once again, I comfortably believe if I had the pictures to do it, I could easily make a PowerPoint on here. Um, and LibreOffice Calc, you know, it's a good Excel example. So yeah, that works too. As far as video and audio playback, I know Cody Media Center works on here, but for some reason it wouldn't install. But there is a built-in media player through Ubuntu Mate called Rhythmbox. <clears throat> Rhythmbox, in my opinion, is almost an exact carbon clone of what iTunes used to be. You've got your music, podcasts, radio, last.fm, libra.fm. There is no store. But, you know, if you're like me and you have a flash drive full of music, you can plug it in, drag it onto the SD card, and play away. And as for video, I'm not going to download it right now, but I can safely say that VLC Media Player works on here. So even if you couldn't get Kodi for whatever reason, VLC would work. So as far as consumer products go, yeah, I would give this a pass. So as you can see, it's a little difficult and you have to have a few workarounds to actually make a Raspberry Pi into a full-fledged desktop computer. But if you were desperate, or if you were just needing a computer to do college work on, or if you needed, you know, a really cheap micro computer, sometimes computers crash, and the Raspberry Pi is $35. And you can get an SD card preloaded for, for next to nothing. Um, especially if you have one at your house and you know, you got a friend or an access to another computer, <clears throat> but, you know, you could totally use this as a desktop computer. You could totally use this as a main computer. Now, if you're a video editor, obviously you can't edit video on this. Um, if you're a photo editor, it actually comes with Shotwell photo editing. Um, but there's no hardware acceleration in Ubuntu Mate right now, and you can't get shot well through Raspbian, so you're kind of out of luck right now. Um, as far as everything else goes, though, I mean, it's actually a pretty solid machine. And had I had the Raspberry Pi 3, things might probably run smoother. So, you know, don't take everything you've seen today to heart, but just know that, yes, you really can do most basic tasks on a Raspberry Pi. I would totally recommend getting one if you just need a computer to do, like, the most basic of tasks. So, anyway, I'm going to try to um, keep doing videos regularly now. Um, I've got several videos in the pipeline for what I want to do, but it's going to depend on when things get shipped here. But yeah, hope you enjoyed. Please hit that like button and please subscribe. This is Adam. Take it easy.